Hey, what is up everyone? Darren Dito from Unexplained Cases. I am here at the lovely uh, Mustang branch of the Scottsdale, Arizona library system, apparently that is haunted by ghosts. Talk to some of the people, uh, take a listen to what they told me about this place being haunted. It looks like your typical public library, right? Yeah, you see that? Those are rows and rows of books. Yeah, you'll find fiction, nonfiction, history, mystery, you name it. They've got it at the public library in Scottsdale, Arizona. But what's unique about the Mustang branch? Oh, it's supposedly haunted. See and he street. would, it would have been like on a Sunday morning early before we open. We're usually pulling holds and he just said he sounded like he heard footsteps in the other aisle. So he, you know, went around to look down the aisle and he couldn't see anything. So, and here in the mystery area. <laughs> what are the odds of that, right? Yeah, what are the odds of that? Employees say lots of strange things happen between the stacks and the storage areas. We, we are in our little workroom back here, and you can quite often hear things that are going along here in the library, especially when it's a little quieter. Right. And several people have reported that there's a funny kind of squeaky wheel sound, almost like a, a book cart that needs a little WD-40. Uh, right. And it makes a funny little kind of wiki 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 sound. Right. Uh -huh. And so that one we think is probably the closest that we've come to some kind of encounter. And most of the lights would have been off, and she said she just saw something. She wasn't sure if it was like outside or something, but it was kind of like a white fish. What is your name? Would you please tell us your name right now? To try and figure out who is haunting the library, the Unexplained Cases team tagged along with Sonoran Paranormal Investigations to try to get some answers about this haunted library. Well, we definitely got some, some voice um, responses to things. We'll have to definitely do some analysis of it. Seem more to me like a lot of it was related to people who were here with us. The group believed it possibly made contact with some spirits via their high-tech gear. And a lot of times, like I said, sometimes it was pretty clear. Like over there, some of the stuff that was said was pretty clear. SPI used audio and visual equipment to capture evidence of the paranormal. So it's hard to describe, but it's like you are hearing uh, like static, like, a, like something that's filtering through stations, kind of like, like the spirit box. box. Okay. When you listen to the spirit box, sure. right? Um, but then when you hear something, it's, it's kind of like you have to shut off the noise that you're hearing and it'll come like on top. On my camera, I appeared to capture some type of light anomaly zipping across the room. The interesting thing about this evidence, it actually showed up when one of the team members was asking for a spirit to manifest in this corner. Yeah, pretty interesting indeed. Okay, so in the end, is this place really haunted? Eh, probably too hard to tell right now. Great ghost stories. Love to talk with folks that uh, work here, of course. The team will go over there, um, evidence to figure out what they found. But uh, certainly this place is pretty creepy.